Hi guys, I am Anand and the first thing I would tell you that this video is going to be long so you have to wait, keep patience and watch till the end because 99% of you will be skipping this video so let's begin So in the thumbnail you can see I am writing time is up but for what? There was nine year old people be told that the only future you can have is IITs. You have been chasing IITs since your 10th class. But what? The revolution has come. The age of IITs not only belongs to them. Now a new age is getting started. And yes, I'm talking about IISER, ISER, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Let's break out each myth about ISERS. The first myth is ISERS don't give you jobs and that being proved false since the last three years. Because if you see the last three years data, ISERS are placing some of their students who are interested in industry, who are interested in industry and getting a job. ISERS are supporting them. Either Pune, either Mohali, Kolkata, Tiruvananthapuram, all are supporting skillful students best placement is given in either Bhopal and there's also BTEC programs which you cannot imagine in a research institute that's dedicated to research itself and about the BSMS degree what is extraordinary in it you can find that all either students from first year they interact with professors who have done PhD in top institutes Harvard, Stanford, then MIT, Princeton then it is Zurich, all of such alumni teach here and you get the exposure to learn from them. How big it is you cannot imagine. The expertise you get, the education you get, almost the same level of IITs. But you know what, not everyone gets the foreign PhD. Your ID card is not your entry to foreign PhDs. It's you, your hard work, your publications. Your exam results, your CGP, everything will decide where you will get settled, established or which university will you get. You are going to get MIT or any normal university depends on your hard work. Because getting a PhD in top universities of the whole world is not easy. And you cannot depend on an institute to get you that. Okay, This is the thing you have to understand. Now students will ask, what about IITs? This is not a comparison video. It's up to you. You want to join either or IITs. It's totally up to you, up to your personal reasons, up to your personal choices, what you want to do in life. Everything depends on that. So you have to take the decision yourself, not depending on someone's talks. You have to understand what you're going to be doing in those institutes, in those colleges. It's your four to five years. You have to decide. And if you have benefited anything from this video just subscribe and give a like thank you for watching